For Dahlia Walton, the years have not erased the pain of losing her twin sister so young. It was only when I saw her in the gasket that I knew. I said to her, wake up, it's time to give a home. They were only eight when she watched Doreen get on a motorboat packed with 15 other kids. What I saw was the, the boat go out and people on the boat panicked and the boat turned over and a lot of people didn't come back. Today a community gathered to share their grief and remember how it all happened. Kathy Grant's dad was one of the day camp's counselors. The kids were having a picnic at a beach on the Lake of Two Mountains near Montreal when a man offered them rides on a motorboat. Two groups went out and came back safely, but on the third trip, the boat ran into engine trouble. A wave hit the vessel, causing kids to panic and jump overboard. Twelve drowned. Grant says the kids scratched and clawed at her father's neck as he tried to rescue them. Some later blamed him. We'd be walking down the street, and people would say, murderer, murderer, murderer. And it really hurt him. For years, the community wouldn't even talk about what happened. That has changed. Gail Millington Grant was only two when her sister Paula died in the accident. She's pushing to make swimming lessons mandatory in Quebec schools. And I want them to have the knowledge, the respect, and the fear of the water. After the accident, Dahlia Walton secretly took swimming lessons knowing her mother didn't want her near the water. But she says everyone should learn, so when accidents happen, they don't become disasters. Simon Akineshny, CBC News, Montreal.